man, that's a lot of cucumber. Hey everybody, it's Moombo here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic City, this time bringing you guys a really cool sub shop. Now, in case you missed it, I'm gonna catch you guys up on what I'm doing here. So over here this way, is the ice cream shop. So here you can see I have done an ice cream parlor and an ice cream truck. Uh, so this was done in an episode not too long ago. I'll put a link in the description in case you missed it. Uh, so I am making essentially some type of food district here. So right now I have this ice cream shop and over here I have done the sub shop. So I'm going to be adding a couple more. I have a few ideas already, but if you have any suggestions, make sure you put them in the comments. Uh, so now let's check out the sub shop here and the funny looking submarine sandwich car. So, the sandwich car is pretty interesting. Uh, you can see it obviously has some deli meats and some cheese and some some condiments and some tomatoes and lettuce all around. Uh, but it's, it's also a car. You can see it also has an exhaust pipe here and some lights and the wheels and all that good stuff. Uh, so, I can open this up here actually and we can hop inside. Uh, before I do, I'm just gonna hop up here. So you can see I added a periscope and I actually added one up on top so you can see I have this pretty funny looking sub that has a periscope that rotates and it looks like it's bobbing around in the water. Uh, so I thought that was a neat little piece of detail for this build. Uh, so you can see there's some sesame seeds on the top there as well. Uh, just adding a little few touches. So here we have to actually hop over this seat. It's kind of awkward, but uh, I'm surprised that it actually ended up working. So here you can see we can actually open up a little window here. Uh, so now we have like a little serving area. So this is actually like a portable sub shop. Uh, so you can go around selling your awesome sub sandwiches. I, I personally love sandwiches actually. I gotta say. Uh, but let's uh, hop in here, we can bring up the keys, uh, and you can see that we can turn all the lights on, and we can shut that door there, and we can also control the window. Uh, so you can see there is no suspension, it just kind of bounces around a little bit, uh, but it's pretty funny because the periscope, as you can see, it's attached to the steering, and I don't know why, but it just, it makes me have to see it just like looking where you're about to turn and it's kind of freaky actually I don't know it's, it's really funny especially with this new follow cam uh, you can see that it's tracking the movement and the uh, the periscope looking around it, it just makes me think that that's what my little buddy is doing inside there uh, so I thought that this build was pretty cute and pretty funny at the same time and it has that kind of unique personal touch with the uh, with the periscope on top so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get out of here I think that's uh, is that not it I am kind of stuck. We got to use the, the sesame seeds here. They actually help you pop out. Uh, this is like the little exit area right there. You just have to hold your left side there and you'll actually pop out. Uh, so pretty funny build though. I definitely enjoyed making that one. Uh, so now we're going to head on into the submarine shop. So here you can see it's a well-lit entrance and the entire interior is well-lit as well. Uh, I'm going to point out a few things while we look around here. So as you can see, making use of the new mugs, we have a drink machine here. You can come in and grab yourself a drink and close that. So I was trying to make this somewhat nautical and fresh and sub-style at the same time. So you can see up on the top here, I tried to, like a little bit of an interesting light design. So I wrapped the small pipe pieces around the lights and it kind of gave a little bit of a caged effect. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And here you would eat your sub standing up, I guess, actually. I'm, I'm pretty content with your customers standing here to eat their subs. So I decided to put some type of little grating down here. You can imagine like where your line would be. You can have your, your people walking around on this. Uh, so I think that looks pretty cool and it really does make the counter stand out a little bit more. So we have an arrow here pointing us to where we start our order and we got a, a pretty vague menu honestly. I don't even, I don't know how to read that. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna assume that it's sandwich stuff. Uh, so here we can get inside from the, uh, the front here with the little kind of, I guess it's like a countertop door. Uh, but here before we go in we can open up that doorknob and here we go this is the bathroom here. Uh, you can see I put another one of those cage lights in here and just some type of little, I don't know, it, just a little touches of detail and also a checker pattern floor and a garbage can in the side there. So we can shut that, turn the knob, 
and we're gonna head on into the back area here now. So I tried to add a few like interesting pieces of detail so you can see that this is like a serving tray here uh, with all of the toppings and everything that you would need and right here actually is the toaster so let's uh let's make some bread shall we and get it toasted so we're gonna make a sub here it's it's all bread actually I haven't uh, I can't fit any toppings on this bread I, I don't know how to cut that in half yet uh, but let's uh, let's see if we can't fire this oven up and start toasting some some subs here Oh, perfect. Look at this. The customer's gonna love this. Alright, there we go. And it is all warm and toasty in there. Alright, I think we can grab that now and pop it down right here. And I feel like we could probably maybe get our hammer out and send it on down to the customer. There you go! Sub for you! Perfect. That one's to go, actually. Alright, turn the oven off there before we start a fire in here, and uh, let's check this out. So this here is like a bread baking oven, so we're baking the bread for the sandwiches, of course. And over here, this is just like a little bit of a makeshift anchor hanging there for the sub theme. And this here is the back area, so as you can see, there's like a notice board with a couple post-it notes and a sheet, maybe some type of poster for some type of event. Uh, so this here is the light control box, so we can actually shut down the store essentially, so if we turn all of those switches off, all of the lights are now turned off, and they're kind of zoned in different ways, so different areas are controlled right here. Uh, and this right here is kind of like the storage area, so here you can see we have some supplies and some some extras of stuff that we might need out there, and I mean, I think those are just industrial sized condiments maybe? So we can turn the lights off in there, and we'll head on over here. So this is essentially just like a, uh, a fridge that you would store all of your good stuff. And here you have like temperature control and some temperature gauges. And this is full of cucumbers. Wow. All right. Um, I think this sandwich shop is going to be specializing in, in cucumber sandwiches uh, this time of year. So uh, we're just going to leave that. And then right here we have a little bit of a back entrance, uh, so this would be essentially connected to a bit more of the city because of course eventually I would love to have all of this in the main city which is full of awesome buildings and skyscrapers and I will put a link in the description for that as well so you guys can check out the playlist uh, if you are curious about the entire city. Alright, so that is the sub shop and sub mobile in Scrap Mechanic City. Uh, so let me know if you have any more suggestions for this food district, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye for now.